Verse 18 of Psalm 109 says, Open my eyes that I may see the wonders from your Torah. And, um, and this is the verse that I thought of earlier. It's 2 Corinthians 3.15 says, when Moses is being read, when the Torah is being read, a veil, a veil, sorry, not a veil, a veil lies on people's hearts. And you get resistance because there's a veil on the heart. We can't do anything about it. Don't ever try to forcefully remove the veil. I've tried it. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. People resist. They move away from you. If you speak anything spiritual again, they will run. Okay? Don't ever try to remove the veil forcefully. Ask this, the Ruach of our Father, to do the work. Trust in Him. You don't even have to ask Him. Just trust in Him that He will do the work. And when one turns to the Master, the veil is taken away, and we all with unveiled face see as in a mirror the esteem of Adonai and are being transformed, transformed into the same likeness from glory to glory as from our Father the Spirit. And each one has got a little, a little experience on his own. It's bespoke. Everyone has got an experience that the Father is calling us together to the place where he will take us forward. We have, in I think it's 1 Corinthians 5, or is it 2 Corinthians 5, that says that we have received the ministry of reconciliation. And um, if we have received the ministry of reconciliation, and we with unveiled faces, this is a lot like Balaam, don't you think? He said he's got opened, his eyes are opened. If your face is unveiled and the veil is taken away, what do we see? If the veil is lying on the heart, and when Moshe is read, now suddenly if you receive the Messiah, the veil is taken away. What will you see? The wonders from your word, O Father. That's what we see. And if we meditate on that and trust in the Father for revelation, He will lead us down the road and we will dance and we will sing with joy and happiness. And I trust that this is our experience and our future. We will see the wonderful things with our Father's Spirit. And I think um, this is our heart's desire, is that the Father opens our hearts more and more and more. Because I think the veil is being lifted. And He is busy lifting His veil in our lives. And our prayer is that our Father will open our eyes every day more and more so that we will see the wonderful things that are hidden in, the, in His character, in His being, so that we can get to know Him better and better every day. This is, and as we get to know Him better, we can explain to the people around us with our lives how good and merciful and just He is. So, it says, it is said that reading the Bible without the Ruach is like the picture is. You ride with your bike, or you walk, whatever way you choose, up to the tower in the Tanikwas. In the early morning, I've, see, I've done this. I can, I can advise this. It's a good plan. Perhaps not tomorrow when it snows, but in another day. You go up to the tower, and you stand, and you look when the sun is busy rising in the east, and you look over this flat, Flat plains, I think it is. Over the area of George, you see from just about Sedgefield, you can see um, Jericho Spint, and you can see the, the light tower in Mossel Bay, and you see this whole area, and you can see this, the beauty that unfolds if the sun rises, and all the rays, and the greens, and the reds. It's difficult, if you haven't seen it, to explain it to someone. It is so in the physical and it is so in the spiritual. But that's why we've got a ministry of reconciliation and encouragement. So that when someone has a lack in his life, we can draw alongside of that person and encourage and speak of the wonders of the Torah in such a manner that it helps that person to see. And this is what we are called for. Is we explain the beauty and the glory of the Father in a way that people will experience that, not the mistakes in their lives. And the Spirit will work in their lives to draw them closer into relationship with the Father, so that they themselves will see 
at some stage.